Welcome to another episode of The Broker's Brew with me, Chris Target, on the Marketing Mortgages podcast with Social for Brokers. So you can see I've got my branded t-shirt on here, recording it when it's quite warm. I've still got my brew in hand um, in the middle of middle of a bit of sunshine. So I might be a bit warm recording this one. I need to do, like I said on the last episode, do maybe an iced tea version of this podcast just for, for the summer months. But yes, welcome back. Today, we are going to be talking about the magic word that people have been speaking about over the last few years, and that's TikTok. Now, it seems like it's been around for ages, doesn't it? But I remember it really blowing up um, in lockdown, kept everybody sane, I think, watching silly videos, doing silly TikTok dances. And I know a few people that still haven't downloaded it themselves. They... They feel that if they download it, they'll get addicted to it. And I'm I'm bad for it for scrolling before bed. And, and some of it is just mind-numbingly um, escapism kind of social media. But there is some really good stuff on there. I mean, I've been talking to a few people about it, kind of saying, is it the new MySpace? Is it something that explodes onto the scene like it has? Um Remember, like MySpace, you'd, you'd set your music, you'd set your top friends. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that that know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and it was massive. It was part of everybody's lives, MySpace was. It was you'd chat to your friends on it. You'd fall out with friends if they weren't in your top friends. You'd have like your Ja Rule tune playing in the background and you'd be able to code it to make it look like colourful. And it was huge. And then all of a sudden it just disappeared overnight, didn't it? Everybody was using it and then it disappeared. And is that's what is, do we think that's what's going to happen to TikTok? Now, a lot of people say to me, is it worth me getting onto it? I think it is because I don't think it's going anywhere. I mean, you've got the likes of Universal Music. We're having conversation with them about having music on their platforms. When you hear the music charts now, they'll say that this was found on TikTok it's similar to a bit of YouTube in, I think it was 2008, um, YouTube really exploded. People are being found on that platform, and that's exactly what TikTok's doing. But for mortgage advisors, they're saying to me, how do I use it? Is it worth me using it? And I appreciate the FCA. I've got a lot of things going on with TikTok at the minute, and I'm not really going to get into that. But you need to check with your network um, as, to, as to how that would work. And obviously, if you're DA, just make sure you follow the FCA guidelines. So you make that decision ultimately if you want to be on TikTok. But the big thing is, is it's not TikTok's not just for silly dancers anymore. It's becoming a major hub of information. And that's why I needed to release this episode because so many brokers have used it to their advantage over the last few years. And now is the time for you guys as mortgage brokers to get on there. I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can start that journey because it Seems quite daunting, doesn't it, when a new channel appears or something changes in the world that we need to adapt adapt, adapt to it, make some changes. I'll talk you through a few steps that will make that transition easier. Okay, so I'm going to have a sip of this brew. So like I was saying, it's a major hub for information. I don't know if anybody saw the TV advert series that they, they ran. It was awesome. It was... I think it was father and son and they were um the dad was taking up running and it was just after christmas i think this was obviously on that fitness flow just after christmas and you could see that he got all his information from tiktok like what running trainers should i wear what equipment should i have um what pace should i be setting like how do i run faster how do i run fitter and he got all that information from tiktok And the idea behind that advert campaign was to say TikTok's no longer a silly dancing platform. It's now become a hub where you can search for information and their search features on there are fantastic. For me, it's rivaling, it's actually, sorry, YouTube still has its position as a longer form um, video channel. So if you want to go and watch something, you could watch it on the TV, on your computer, but When you're watching short form video, I think TikTok have hit the sweet spot with this and it's going to overtake, I think, um, YouTube content from the short form. It'd be interesting to see what YouTube shorts do over the next few years, but it's a great platform. 
and TikTok is here to stay. It's evolving in all its top kind of content. You can see they're starting to bring out like professional um, channels, personal channels, vloggers. So it's a big platform. And let's talk about how you guys can start getting into it. Okay. So we're going to break this down into four steps that you can do. So if you haven't already, go and download it create an account. I would recommend creating an account off a an username or an email. Don't create off a mobile number. If you ever change that mobile, it can become a bit tricky swapping the, the um, accounts over. So create it under an email or a username. Okay. Once you download it first, just explore it. Spend some time browsing through it. So before you start creating anything, scroll through TikTok. What I would say is don't follow the accounts that you think you might get distracted follow accounts that other people that are in your field or people that you are interested in that you there's people that talk about how to record better content or how to speak better on video or how to write better emails follow people like that don't follow people that you might get distracted by by silly cat videos and and then those kind of things and just have a little look at what you think what's popular out there what videos are you seeing come up more and more is it a mortgage advisor breaking down um, how universal credit can help them with a mortgage, or is it simply videos that say how much deposit do I need for a mortgage? Get a feel for the type of content out there. The other thing that you can do is go onto the trending page so you can see what types of videos are currently popular. So this will give you inspiration and kind of help you understand what's going on on TikTok and what kind of sounds or music's trending now you don't have to use those trending um sounds but it's just interesting to see what's going on in the world and i'll tell you what's crazy as you spend time on tiktok you will hear certain songs and then you'll hear them in the charts on the radio if you still listen to the radio that is um and it's crazy you think i heard that on tiktok first that's the way that the world is going now people will launch music on tiktok and it will end up in the charts once we've explored the, the platform, what you want to do is start creating content, but make it really simple, okay? Don't overthink it. Your first videos, they don't need to be perfect. You want to see some of the state of my videos that I did when I started out. Please don't think they have to be super polished. Grab yourself an Amazon selfie stick, tripod light, whatever you call them. Pop your phone on there and start recording content. Even if you don't upload it to start with, start getting into the habit of creating that content. And what I would do is just start with simple, short videos answering five questions that you've been asked this week. So somebody might have phoned up and said, what documents do I need for my first appointment? The second one might be that, um, can I buy as a first time buyer if my partner's already had a home before? These kind of simple questions that you get over and over again, do videos just answering those questions just to get comfortable with the process, okay? Once you've recorded those, experiment with the, the TikTok editing tools. So TikTok has an inbuilt editor. When you record a video, if you go to the top right, it looks like a little YouTube icon, actually. If you press that, you can, like, trim videos you can move them you can add text you can add subtitles there's so much that you can do just try and start to get used to those before you kind of go all out and start uploading three videos a day to tiktok okay so get used to their editing tools they're really quite intuitive or intuitive on tiktok if you feel more comfortable with CapCut, CapCut is a free downloadable app on your phone Again, very easy to use, and you can send them straight to TikTok from there, okay? Third thing you then want to do on TikTok, which you might think is a bit out there, because you might think all I've got to do is post a video and I'll upload it and leave it to go. What I want you to do is to engage with the TikTok community. So like and comment on other people's content. So if there's, I think personally, I think it's bad practice if you, go and comment on other mortgage brokers content because it looks as if you're trying to poach the viewers. You can like it and show support, but I would refrain from commenting on other mortgage brokers content because they've built a channel for themselves. Don't be that one that comments on them saying to people, Oh, this is, um, you can get in contact with me almost trying to piggyback off their audience. It's not 
I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's good practice. There's some people that do it. I don't agree with it. But why not um, go on to accountants' TikToks and kind of engage with them because there's people that might need help that way. Um, go on to solicitors. Go on to your local areas pages. There might be a local coffee shop that's big on TikTok. Go and comment on their stuff. But get into the habit of engaging with other people's content Two reasons. The first reason is that company, that person that you've engaged with is much more likely to comment or share your content in the future because you've shown them some love. But secondly, it can increase the reach of your posts. TikTok love um, accounts that engage with other people's stuff. That's what social media is, right? We want to be engaging with other people. So they're going to reward you by pushing your content out to more people as well. Okay. And then the fourth one, let me finish off this brew before I go to the fourth one. And this is every social media platform out there, but TikTok even more so because it's going to be your face. Be authentic and consistent, okay? Show your personality. TikTok users appreciate authenticity. If you look at Alex Hormozzi, one of the biggest people in social media at the moment, he builds businesses, sells them. He knows how to do marketing. He's get going away from the highly polished, edited, um, you know, when the images slide in and you've got the emojis popping everywhere. He's moving away from that. He's moving back to the raw content of him just sat face to camera because TikTok, they appreciate that authenticity of people. So don't think it has to be polished. People are loving that face to camera, even if you just hold it up in selfie mode. Show your personality, show the people who you are. And when they pick up the phone to you to do an appointment, there's going to be no disjoint between who you are in front of the camera and who you are on the phone. These TikToks are a platform where people like to consume information very quickly. So if you've got a really long intro to a video with loads of images moving about, Smith's Mortgages, we're here to help, but they're not bothered. They will switch off. Our attention span is so much shorter now than it was even two, three years ago. They prefer quick, raw, honest information. And then talking on the consistency, as with all social media platforms, consistency is key. Try to post regularly, and that will keep your audience engaged, but also put your content out to people that might not already follow you. So download the app, follow those four steps, have a play about with it. You're not going to get it perfect first time. Upload, try and upload a video if you can once a day for the next couple of months and you'll see your followers and your engagement skyrocket. But if that scares you to do one video a day, just start doing a video every other day, every week. Just get into the habit of it. If you listen to our last Brokers Brew episode, TikTok recommends you the sweet spot is to upload one to three times per day. That's huge if you're just starting out. So experiment with it first. Get yourself au fait with what's going on on the app and then start building a strategy of creating those short videos that you can post regularly on TikTok. Have a little go. Let me know how you get on. And until the next episode, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.